Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be simplifying a rational expression. We have x to the fourth power plus 4 divided by x squared minus 2x plus 2. I might have done this problem before, I can't remember if I did apologize. If you know the link, you can go ahead and share that link with me or with everyone else. But I'm going to use a different method and that is going to be my first method. Alright, so let's go. And I'll be presenting a total of three methods. Ready, set, go. So for my first method, I am going to factor both the numerator and the denominator. And you're like, are you serious? Can we factor the numerator? It's a sum of squares, maybe? Yes, sum of squares can be factored if you consider complex numbers. If you like complex numbers, go ahead and check out my other channel, A plus BI. All right, anyways, let's get to work. How do you factor x to the fourth plus four? You're gonna write it as x squared squared plus two squared. Therefore, if you have sum of two squares, how do you factor it? Remember the modulus of a complex number and you'll get the answer right away, a plus bi and a minus bi. Exactly, that is the absolute value of z squared. This is z, this is z bar, so on and so forth. Anyways, that's a different story. Let's get to work. Now, here, I got this, but how do you split it up? x squared is going to be my a, so it's going to be x squared. But 2 squared is kind of like give me, it's going to give me 2i, right? So great. So x squared plus 2i and x squared minus 2i. You could also look at it this way. It's kind of x squared squared minus negative 4. And then negative 4 can be written as 2i squared. And then the factoring follows. Okay? What about the bottom? Is that factorable? Again, yes. If you consider complex numbers, it is factorable. But how do I know how to factor it? Well, kind of easy because you can complete the square. You can write this as x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 1, another one on the outside. Now consider this. This is x minus 1 squared and this is one squared again another sum of two squares how nice is that right now we can go ahead and write this as follows then x minus one now minus negative one it can be written as i squared so this is going to be like this minus i squared let's do the steps and this one can be factored as x minus one plus i and x minus one minus i great where do we go from here though right Here's what we're going to do. We're going to plug it in and see what happens. And it's going to be pretty interesting because it's not going to simplify right away. So x to the fourth plus 4 divided by x squared minus 2x plus 2 is equal to. Now remember the numerator was factored as x squared plus 2i and x squared minus 2i, right? And the bottom is just x minus or plus. Should I write the minus sign first? Okay, x minus, you know, there's no plus sign. Never mind, I'm confusing myself. x minus 1 plus i and x minus 1 minus i. Now, when you look at something like this, like this doesn't simplify at all, what am I going to do? So here's, wh here's what we're going to do. We're going to factor the numerator one more time. There are two factors and they're going to generate more factors because we have sum of two squares again. Wait a minute, is this a perfect square? Yes. Hopefully you remember from some of the videos we made, 1 plus i squared is 2i. Therefore, if you square root 2i, you're going to get 1 plus i. And it's opposite because remember, complex numbers have two square roots. So here's how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and factor x squared plus 2i as x squared minus, or I should say plus, 1 plus i squared. So here, here's the here's the interesting part. How can I factor this expression, right? Well, I have x squared plus two i. Okay, I'm, I think I should write it differently, not like that. So I need I need a difference of two squares here. So it's kind of funny. It is a sum of squares, but I'm going to write it as follows. I want to write it as x squared minus negative two i, and negative two i is what? 1 minus i squared. So I can write it as x squared minus 1 minus i squared. And I can write the x squared minus 2i as x squared minus 2i. And this just becomes 
x squared minus 1 plus i squared. So let's go ahead and plug these into my equation right here. And that's going to give me x squared minus 1 minus i squared. And then x squared minus 1 plus i squared. And then we're going to have x minus... Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take a minus out. So negate the inside, factor out the negative 1 in other words, and then negative 1 factor out again. This is going to give me x minus 1 plus i. Do you see what I see now? The top is made up of two factors that are both difference of 2 squared. Did that make sense? I'm sorry if this was a little too fast. Let me go ahead and review this real quick and then we'll get to the answer. So x squared plus 2i, I wrote it as a difference, and then I use difference of two squares. And remember, with the difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared can be factored as a plus b, a minus b. Now, why am I not using the sum of two squares? I could use it, but I think this will be easier. Make sense? I hope it does. So we get that for the first one, and for the minus sign, it kind of turns into, I don't think I need to write this one more time, but anyways, you get the idea. And this also becomes another difference of two squares. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and factor the numerator by using difference of two squares, x squared plus 1 minus i, and x squared minus 1 minus i. And then this one is going to be x squared minus, should I write the plus first? Yeah, plus 1 plus i and x squared minus 1 plus i. And then if you consider the bottom, you're going to get x minus 1 minus i and x minus 1 plus i. And some terms are going to cancel out and we're going to get something interesting from here. For example, these two are going to cancel out. And then I think this is supposed to be an, no, not x squared. It's supposed to be an x. What am I talking about? These are x's, not x squares, because we already took care of the difference of two squares. And now those two canceled out and these two will cancel out, and we're going to end up with these two things. And guess what? We can go ahead and write that as x plus 1 minus i times x plus 1 plus i, a little differently, and this becomes x plus 1 squared minus i squared, again, from difference of two squares. I know this is kind of painful, but this becomes x plus 1 squared plus 1 because i squared is negative 1, and this becomes x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 1, which is 2. And this brings us to the end of the first method only. Sorry about that. I took a long time, but second method will be much faster. And we're going to use for this what's called Sophie Germain. Great mathematician. Here's the method. We're going to write this as a sum of two squares. And then just add, we're going to add something helpful to make it a perfect square. So x to the fourth plus 4 needs 4x squared because it will become x squared plus 2 squared minus 2x squared. And now this is a difference of two squares, much more straightforward. x squared plus 2 plus 2x and x squared plus 2 minus 2x. But remember, this is divided by x squared minus 2x plus 2, and these two are the same, so we end up with the same thing. Cool, right? And the third method is going to be, guess what? It's going to be, yes, the long division, right? Who wants to do long division? I mean, you can use any other um, any calculating tool, but if you just do the work, that's not too bad. Come on. x squared goes into x to the fourth x squared times distributed. We're going to get x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared. Such a weird 3. And then negate and add. We're going to get rid of this. 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4. Now this is going to go 2x times. That's going to give me 2x cubed minus 4x squared because 2x times 2x and then minus plus 4x. And then negate and add again, which means subtracting 2x squared minus 4x minus 4. And then this should be a negative 4, I think. A positive 4, sorry about that. I forgot to bring this as a 4. And then this will become exactly 2 times that and we'll get a zero remainder. Make sense? Okay, awesome. And subtract, add whatever, zero. So this will be the answer by long division. Sorry, this was a long video, but because we had to do long division and other stuff. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.